<laughs> Speaking of wise owls, indeed. Thank you, Byron. Um, what I've decided to do for this brief segment, possibly one of the last we'll be able to do in the light remaining, is uh, leave a small recording of a piece of classical music I was playing. Well, it's Baroque music, really. Uh, and just let it filter slightly into the background so that you can get a sense of what I am feeling by looking at this, because, of course, we don't have ambient sound. Isn't that nice? Don't worry, it was written in the 1600s. It's not, uh, it's not copyrighted anymore. <laughs> there are the hippopotami. Hmm, isn't that nice? And Ardlara Muryu says, seashell pink sky, that it is indeed. They fade this out before it finishes and gets replaced with something by ACDC, which of course will <laughs> slightly change the effect of what I was trying to create. And you see there's still a bit of light out there. And there are two, well, slightly less no, in fact, they are in amongst an enormous group. Look, there are thousands of hippo here. That's a tiny little thing. Thinking about getting out of the water, probably being trying to be convinced to get up by a mum there, saying, come on, come on, kids, it's time to get up and go foraging. I wonder if hippo have night schools for the little ones. Perhaps that's a teacher just giving some instruction. She seems to be surrounded by little ones. She's probably talking to them about the advantages of eating red oat grass versus the sort of uh, more palatable but less nutritious grasses. Just disciplining a small one there by biting him on the head. I'm glad I wasn't bitten on the head when I was at school. Well, not frequently anyway. Not by a teacher normally. I think let's stay on them. He's obviously a trouble causer. Look at him. Isn't it amazing how all mammals just about like to play when they are little? Some continue into adulthood, uh, but many... <laughs> many only when they're kids. But eventually an adult is compelled to join in the playing and then we have wonderful little heartwarming scenes like the one we're seeing right now. It's definitely a nursery or a creche or something. I mean, I don't think that they have twins, Hippo. I'm pretty sure they don't. And I suspect that's a young cow who's been set to, if not officially sort of set to looking after them, I wonder if she isn't sort of the creche there are a number of mammals, <laughs> number of mammal species where you know the older females, sorry, younger females, not yet mothers, will look after youngsters and they'll congregate around females like that. That is just beautiful. All righty, let's head back to Taylor, who's got a primate trying to play those silhouette game things. I think. <laughs> 